Often when you do a formula and you drag it down, you get this that appears. So you've lost your formatting, which was dark light, dark light, and suddenly you've got these divide by zero errors, or it's referring to the wrong number. So firstly, you have this drop down, and you can choose fill without formatting. I bet you never saw that really, really cool feature. And there are some other tricks I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to detect the problems and how to look for general issues with your formulas in this video. My name is David Lyman. and I have tons of videos on Excel, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering it on my channel. You can download a copy of this file. The link is in the description to follow along with this video. And what I'm going to show you works in Google Sheets and Excel. Uh, apart from this thing, all the other things will work in Google Sheets and Excel. All right, so let's get going. In the Formulas tab, you have this thing called Show Formulas, and this is a really good tool to figure out what's happening. So if I click on it once, it shows me the output cells instead of the answers. And if I click on each cell, it drags around what's linked to it. Now, as you can see in the top most one, I'm linking to this cell and this cell, the two cells I want to link to. But as I keep going down, then as I drag down, every linked cell is dragged down with it. So I'm dragging down the blue cell, which I want to, and the red cell, which I don't want to. So now that we know what's gone wrong, let's look at how to fix it. I'm going to untick show formulas. I'm going to delete these ones, all of the cells. I'm going to do the formula equals this one divided by this one. Then before I press enter, I'm going to press the F4 button on my keyboard. And that is going to put two dollar signs, one in front of E and one in front of 11. Press enter. And then if I drag down and here I choose fill without formatting, I get the right answers. If I go back to my show formulas, I can see that the blue cell moves up and down, but the red cell does not, which is what I want in this context. So to look at it again, we're going to do income as a percent of total. So here I'm going to do equals income for the current row, which is row number four, divided by the total income, which is in the ninth row. Now, the one that I want to lock, the one that I want to fix, is the one down here, which is the total, which means I'm going to press F4 to lock that in. You could also manually type in the dollar signs, uh, but I prefer F4 because it puts both of them in, and you don't have to do the fi fiddly thing of clicking around. And then, if I drag it down like this, I will get this number. If you want to quickly make it into a percent, you could either click on this button or press Control shift percent Works in Excel and Google Sheets really, really fast. I really like that shortcut. Um, so in general, what you should think about is whether your the cell you're referring to is in the same row as the output. Um, in both of these cases, so in the first one, the blue cell is in the same row, and that's dividing by this cell, which is the total, and that is in a different row. If you're referring to a cell in a different row, then usually the way you would build the spreadsheet would be that you would want that to stay the same. So use F4 for the one in the different row. However, uh, in this case as well, where we're doing the exchange rate, very, very typical use case, um, the exchange rate will be in another row. So that will be the one that we lock. By the way, in certain laptops, F4 doesn't work on its own. You might need to press the FN key with F4 to lock that in. By the way, you're looking for these dollar signs that appear, two of them. We'll get to what the two of them means in a little bit in a more advanced part of this. So let's take this concept a bit further and introduce mixed referencing. So here I have units and price and I want to get sales. So I'm going to do equals this one multiplied by this one. And then, like I said before, if it's in the same row, then the rule of thumb is that you're not going to use F4. So I can double click to drag that down pretty fast. Now let's do the next one, percent of total. So I can do this one divided by this one, different row, going to press F4. And then I can double click there. They are just showing me zero, but control shift five, control shift percent will give me the actual percent. Next, we're going to look at the forecast. And this is where it gets tricky. Now, what I could do is I could press equals this one multiplied by this one. Now, my rule of thumb says that this is in a different row, so I'm going to press F4 to that one, and then I get 84. And then if I drag it down, it works. If I drag it across, it does not work. Because if I drag it across, then it is now, if I click on this one and press F2, or double-click it, 
there's another shortcut to go to edit mode and it shows you the linked cells. So here I'm referring to this one which is wrong and this one which is wrong. So I have moved across with the blue cell that I don't want to happen and I have not moved across with the red cell that I do want to happen. So I'm going to undo that, control Z two times, and I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to do equals this one multiplied by this one and then I'm going to F for the blue cell. And then if I do this, if I drag across, this now works. It's dragged this across and kept that one. But if I then drag down, then it does not work. Because now it's still referring to this one that's not moved, but and the red cell has moved that I don't want to happen either. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to equals this cell multiplied by this one. I'm going to manually type in dollar signs. So I'm going to go in front of A and put in a dollar sign there because actually column number A, I want to stay locked, but row number 34, I want to move freely. I'm going to click in front of 31 and I'm going to press dollar as well because I want to lock the row number 31, but I want the column EFG to move freely. So in general, put a dollar sign in front of the thing that you want locked. So press enter and I get 84. And now if I drag this down and drag it across, I get all of these numbers that appear correctly. And if I double click on any one, I can see the linked cells are all doing it correctly. So this is how you can do a kind of two dimensional drag down, drag across. And it still works for this kind of scenario uh, where you have it linked to these cells. Again, avoid typing in uh, multiplying them by the number and typing in the number here and hard coding it because that will lead to errors. So in summary, this one was relative referencing when both of them move. This one uses one relative referencing the blue and one absolute referencing, which is the red. Now you don't need to know the words, but they are the technical terms for it. So if you are ever looking something up online, then those are the terms it can use. Then these three last columns, this is something called mixed referencing which means that you're using a dollar sign in front of one, but not the other one. You could get to the same results by doing F4 multiple times. It toggles you through those results. But personally, I find it better to manually type the dollar signs like that. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. My name is Dave Benheim, and I have tons of videos on Excel, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So check out my other videos if you like this one. Thanks for watching.